follow their their own legal procedures you understand so that is something that i'm doing from a legislative perspective but i can tell you the the process of getting a bill passed from drafting to it becoming law is bureaucratic mm -hmm. and that's what i'm already dealing with now but that is an issue that communication authority can pick up and say hey we are having deaths in Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Because how come you're not dying in, 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 uh, in hotels? hotels? How come you're only dying in Airbnbs? How come murderers are, are have? Because they have seen a loophole where uh, uh, crime, it, it's a thriving environment for crime. So therefore, that is something that government can do tomorrow mm. by just drafting a regulation taking it to the Committee of Delegated uh, Legislation mm. under Communication Authority. But the bureaucracy. No, that's just now intentionality. Mm. S just somebody needs to stand up and say, listen, this is a regulation. And, and not somebody. That's, that one, by the way, can fall under, under the Ministry of ICT because yeah. they can draft a regulation and send, and send to Senate and National mm -hmm. Assembly and say, moving forward, all this online uh, real estate, whatever's Airbnbs and whatever, must have physical presence. Because you know what that will do? That will force them to add extra security measures because now they know that they are an, a, a limited, a company operating under Kenyan laws and actually liable. Uh -huh. Yeah. Perhaps that you know, such initiatives will be able to bear fruit. Senator, yeah. um, we did see, you know, shifting gears, we did see what happened today, the meeting between the three arms of government. Yes. First of all, I'd like to pick your mind on, whereas it has elicited mixed reactions, the meeting between especially the Chief Justice and the President. Mm. When you heard that that meeting was taking place, what came through your mind? I was happy because mm. any form of dialogue is good. Uh, just uh, the other day we had uh, Azimio pushing for BBI. Mm. That was a form of dialogue, building bridges initiative. initiative. It was supposed to build bridges across board. Yes. So, I mean, for me, I'm all about dialogue. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like, okay, it seems that we have a stalemate. Everybody, Anajipiga Kifua, like, I am judiciary, I'm going to stand like this, I'm going to do this. I am executive, I'm going to have my powers, you know, legislative agenda as well, you know, everyone. So for me, the idea of having dialogue is the beginning of solving issues mm -hmm. that would just um, pile up and form some form of, um, it, it, it would simmer up and it would, that's, you know, when you look at our past, um, let's say 2007, 2008, yes. it was also like we were building up all these unresolved issues, not having dialogue mm -hmm. to the extent that we just needed one trigger. So for me, I was happy to know that at least we have learned from our past mm -hmm. and we are now initiating dialogue. But also let me say this. Okay. I know that they have discussed about um, uh, budget, budget, the, judici the judiciary budget, mm -hmm. um, the allocation and that more resources are required. I know that they have also discussed about uh, human resource in terms of the, 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 the number of uh, judges both in um, court, of uh, uh, court of appeal and mm -hmm. in, uh, in the high court. Yes. I think it was 25 mm -hmm. and 11 mm -hmm. that they are suggesting should be added. And I also know that they have discussed on, um, so it was the, it was the human resource, uh, the budgetary allocation, and how to solve the conflicts within the judicial system. As well as corruption. Yes, as well as corruption. Mm -hmm. Now here's my thing. Those people who are saying that judiciary should, should not sit down with anyone, how has those, those three agenda items, how have they uh, in any way compromised the independence of the judiciary? They haven't. If judiciary is saying we need capacity, we need more resources, mm -hmm. and you know, we know the way currently how our, our budgets are structured, somehow there is still that interdependence between the executive and the judiciary, which yes. we are trying to make independent so that uh -huh. it is not the executive saying, I'm giving you money or I'm not giving you money. But discussing on how uh, justice should be given to all Kenyans in a swift manner does not uh, compromise the judiciary. The argument has been, Mashmiwa, that it will compromise or coerce or sort of be a deal or butter to the bread of you know giving or issuing judgments or rulings by the that is so far fetched officers. because mm. you know if someone tells you that now a uh, court of appeal we lack 11 judges judges and we are discussing on how to bring 11 judges and let's say government has two or three cases in the court of appeal okay if we have already been operating without the 11 judges mm. how does 
a conversation of increasing the efficiency actually go and affect that particular uh, case that government has? How? Unless you're telling me that it has been such an excruciating situation where court of appeal is not functioning and we are really just relying on the 11 judges that we are begging you, executive, to somehow help us put. Then I would say, okay, maybe that is like you're holding them hostage for them to give a judgment. But we are operating. We are running. I'm a court of appeal in Mefungwa. See, court of appeal is running. It is already. Yeah, so there's nothing that anyone is holding the other person hostage with. If it's about budgetary allocation, that is something that even goes to National Assembly. Right? National Assembly is the one that ensures that depending on which year and what priority. Mm -hmm. So I'm just asking, how does that compromise even one single case in government? Because the other thing that had been seen, the argument that has been is when the president came in, it was a matter of the first, the swearing in of the six judges who had been, you know, been, not been appointed by the previous president. Mm -hmm. And then when it, it appeared that the judiciary was not um, following 